Hey, what's up? It's your girl Georgia. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And I know you guys miss me. I'm sorry, I have not been posting as much. Um, if you guys don't know. I'm a mom and I be so busy with my life, y'all. I be having so much going on. Well, not really, but I really, really do be having stuff going on. Um, today is going to be an update q and I feel like I haven't did a QA and a in such a, such a long, long time. Y'all got some questions for me. Y'all want to know my business so bad. So, yeah, I went on Instagram and I told y'all to ask me some questions that y'all want to know about me and why have I not been on YouTube. Um, so yeah, I'm just getting to it, right into it. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notification. And yeah, y'all, I'm back on YouTube. I'm back on my YouTube grind. I feel like I'm already at a certain amount of numbers on YouTube. So I just need to keep posting. I be so inconsistent sometimes, y'all, because I'm a mom now. So it be hard for me. And if y'all see me keep looking back, it's because my son, he's, um, he's crawling. He's flipping over and stuff like that. So if y'all see him, just know that he, that's what he's doing in the background. But, um, come like, subscribe and we're gonna jump right into it. So, the first question is How are you mentally? Mentally, y'all, I am doing fantastic. I am at peace. Um, I just been being a mom, so there's not really too much I can say about that. I just love, you know, living my best, happy life, not stressing. If y'all see me smiling, it's because I'm really like at peace, like, I'm not stressing at all. The second question is, how do you feel about your baby daddy? Y'all, we have, we have this like love and hurt relationship, honestly. Um, I haven't spoken about my baby daddy in such a long time. And I only much want to call him my baby daddy because he's not really being a good dad right now. He's a deadbeat and um, yeah, y'all, it's just like, I really don't really like talk about him because I feel like he's not even worthy to be talked about. Like he's not even, like he's not good enough to be talked about so we gonna skip that question it said how do you feel about losing your best friend if y'all don't first i was really traumatized this took me a long time to either trust anybody like really trust anybody but i still communicate with his sisters and stuff and i still talk to his um his other best friend which is like this older man he's older his name is Ballhead. we really talked recently he told me where he lived at and stuff like that um that ain't my little fireplace. I thought it was a good setting for y'all. They says, why are you so obsessed with young boy? Um, a lot of people don't like Indy and young boy, but I feel like Indy and young boy actually get me out of my emotions sometimes. I be really sad and then like, when I listen to him, I be ready to fight. So I don't know if that's a good thing, but yeah. They said, are you very affectionate? Are you affectionate? Yes, y'all, I am very affectionate. Um. I love to be submissive sometimes, but I feel like you have to be submissive to the right person. You can't just be submissive to anybody. So, yeah, I am very affectionate. If I love you, I love you. And if I don't, you get the worst out of me. They said, do you want more tattoos and piercings? And what are they? Can we see them? Um, Yes, y'all. I actually do want to get my son name tattooed on me. Um, I'm deciding if I want to get on my face or do I want to get it on my um, neck. Most likely, I'm going to get it on my neck. Um... But yeah, I have a lot of tattoos. I honestly don't feel like showing y'all my tattoos, but I'll post some pictures of my tattoos all over the screen so y'all can see them. Um, it said, are you bi? <laughs> y'all, a lot of people ask me, am I bi? And the question is, I'm actually not bi. Um, I do not like girls at all. Like, I think girls are pretty, like, if you're a pretty girl, I'm gonna say that you're pretty, but I do not like girls. I'm strictly, and yeah, I'm not bi at all. I don't like girls. It said, do you plan on having more kids? And y'all always trying to throw the baby daddy up in that situation. And if not, who the next person you want to have a kid with? Um, I probably don't plan on having more kids. And not even just because I don't want a kid have kids with my baby daddy. It just, I feel like I only wanted one child anyways. But maybe on down the line when a really good man come in my life and he decides to propose to me and be like, he wants some more kids, then yeah. If not, I'm not having more kids. It said, when you plan on showing your gym workout, y'all, I'm honestly been procrastinating to go to the gym myself. I have not been working out. All I have been doing is eating, sleeping, and watching Netflix and taking care of my son. I have not been going to the gym. Um, but I do plan on working out soon. I don't know when. And if I do work out, I'm going to um, vlog it because I know so many moms have like a mommy pouch. 
And right now, in this current state, I have a mommy costume because I'm on birth control. Don't ask me why I'm on birth control. As honestly, I've told you, I don't want my kids on birth control. I don't be doing none of that stuff. But I still want to be on birth control. But yeah, um, I have not been going to the gym myself. You said that I listen to NBA Young Way album. I always listen to any of his music. I don't know what he got going on with this new era music where he's like singing like soft. That kind of give me like, mm. but I really don't listen to like when he sings soft like that because I don't know. I don't think I like that music. I like when he hostile, he get ready to throw up, throw it out type stuff. Um, it said, do you regret your baby daddy or do or your decision? Y'all, I truly love my son. I do not regret my baby daddy because at the end of the day, I feel like some people have their good days and some people have their bad days. Um, I love my son to death. And do I regret um, his dad? I, will, I can't regret his dad if I love him. That don't, that won't make sense. But I do regret that decision that he made. Like, he could have been more honest from the get-go. He could have been more truthful. Like, you know what I mean? But I don't really want to get into detail about that. I want to, if we do have a... um. If I end up getting more detail about that, I want to do a Q and A sit down with him, and we're gonna go on YouTube, and yeah, he's gonna be here, and he's gonna tell y'all what he did and stuff like that. That's what I want to do. So he can apologize to me, he can apologize to everybody in the world because yeah, he was in the wrong. Um, y'all are nasty. They said, do you spit or swallow? <laughs> Hold up. Why is y'all asking me questions like that? But um. <laughs> Duh, would you next question? Don't answer. The... Do I plan on moving? Y'all, if y'all do not know, um I used to live in a shelter. Um I actually in my own apartment. Um shout out to that shelter. I will put information on that shelter. Like if you're in Miami, Florida. No, actually no, I'm not. Um but if you email me and you're homeless or you're feeling like you don't have nowhere to go. Email me. I will put it on the screen for you to email me. Um, I can get you some help. Like, if you want to be in your own place, that place actually help you in it. The only reason they will help you if you, like, really want to um, do what you got to do to have your own place. But, no, I do not live at that shelter more. And, yes, I have my own place now. So, yes, I did move. It said, who are your real friends? Um, Right now, my real friends are Sincere and Katie. I also have this other friend. She knows my friend. She's like, oh, uh, She's someone like my godmom. Her name is Miss Tamika. And she involves too. I have a lot of friends, actually. Well, I won't really say friends. I have people that I really communicate on a daily basis. And most importantly, my first sister is my real friends. Like, I really talk to my sister about everything. He said, why did you take a break from YouTube? Y'all, I took a break from YouTube because I be having so much going on. And sometimes, like, my life do not be excited. Like, I don't go out. I don't party. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I'm a mom, so I don't really have time to pick up the camera and be vlogging everything I do. Unless y'all want to see baby vlogs that I be doing with my son on a daily basis. Well, only thing that we really be doing is eating, sleeping, and he be doing tummy time. And yeah, that's basically about it. They said, what do you use to make a YouTube banner? Um, yeah, I use Canva. I don't know if I pronounced it right, but I will put it on the screen right there. I use that to do all of my info, my intros, all that. I use all that to um, to um, make a YouTube banner and basically to record my videos and stuff like that. It said, "What's your favorite color?" And what's your favorite color in your favorite number? And what's your favorite number? My favorite color right now is black, green, and pink. And my favorite number is 19. My favorite number is 19 since so I was like a little kid. I don't know. It's an uneven number. And I always felt like that was a raw number. And I might get that tattoo one day on me too. My favorite number is 19. Actually, I got 1996 on me. So I already got 19 tattooed on me. Um, yes, yeah, so when will you be opening a P.O. box? So, can, so we can send you and your baby some stuff. Yeah, I will be opening a P.O. box soon. But I don't really know how to open a P.O. box. I don't know if I have to go to the mail office to do that. But if you want to email me and just let me know if you want to send maybe some stuff, and I'll just put my address, like, make sure I know who you are and stuff like that. And I'll give you my address, and you can just send it to my house. And don't be weird. Don't come to my house because I do have a firearm, and I am concealed to carry it. And, yeah, don't play crazy. 
they said what is your baby name i will not be putting up his name his real name on here but i will be telling y'all his nickname his nickname is ace and just fill in the blank they said how much did you weigh during your pregnancy how much you weigh now during my pregnancy y'all i was really really big i was 190 pounds nearly all stomach right now the last time i went to the my doctor my birth control doctor she told me i was 163 pounds which is good and i feel like i actually dropped a little bit like i'm getting lower and lower and lower so yeah probably right now i'm probably like 160 pounds nearly lost only three pounds so yeah somebody said what's a good age to be a mom honestly whenever you're ready like, I can't be like, what's a good age to be a mom? Because I was a mom, I became a mom at the age of 25, had my baby at the age of 26. So, I feel like whenever you're ready, you have all your stuff, you have a house, a car, you got your pay, your bills, pay, whatever that you need to do. Be ready to take care of a child because being able to take care of a baby, a child, is kind of hard. And I ain't even saying to be sorry, but I'm just saying, like, sometimes you just. But yeah, whenever you're ready, don't rush to be no mom because. Yeah, that's all I can say. They said, do you wish things would have been better with your kid father? Um, at some point I do. I honestly feel like you can't change a person. Like, even no matter how hard you want to try to make this person be a better person, you cannot change them. With my baby daddy, honestly, I feel like at the end of the day, I'm not going to force them to be a dad. And we went through so much stuff before even having a kid like he really was my best friend so i feel like it's a lot of stuff that he knew about me and it's a lot of stuff that i know about him and there's at some areas it's stuff that he was hiding from me that i didn't really know and i feel like he really broke a lot of boundaries when it comes to our relationship so if anything if we end up becoming cool we're becoming cool as a co-parenting like we'll be able to take care of his child see his son and stuff like that if not other than being with each other being in a relationship can't be because I feel like he lost a lot of, he, um, he was very dishonest. Like, it was a lot of stuff that I was telling him about myself that he knew about me and I was always honest up front. I feel like he could have been just honest on the get-go and that would have been like, okay, but the fact that he lied, no. So, yeah, whenever he decided to be a real man, we're going to do a sit-down for you too, man. Y'all going to ask him questions and I'm going to make y'all ask him some questions and he will answer it for y'all. Um, when your son get older do you want him to see his dad y'all when my son get older if he decide that he will communicate with his father that it's all right with me i'm not the bitter baby mama i'm not the one to be like oh no he can't talk to your dad da, da, da. but i don't know because i feel like he wasn't there from the jump so it's like what's the point like why would you wait all these years to try to talk to somebody so at the end of the day, but yeah, like I'm not gonna hold him back. If he wanna talk to his dad, he can talk to his dad. But really, in my opinion, I feel like that's not a good idea because you don't even know him. Like, you know what I mean? So yeah. And the last final question is, what is the best thing about being a mom? Hold on, my son is crying. You okay, Ruby? No, what's wrong? Is your baby okay? What's the best thing about being a mom? Um, the best thing about being a mom is basically being a mom. Like, I can't even describe it because, like, <laughs> you're pregnant, you go through a whole pregnancy of nine months with a little one inside of you, and then when you have a baby, and it's just, like, amazing feeling. Like, I can't even describe the feeling. Like, it's such a good feeling. You end up growing with somebody, you end up taking care of somebody, feeding them, bathing them, you know, doing all of that good stuff. Like, <laughs> he's trying to see what I'm doing. All of that good stuff. But yeah, y'all. And I'm sorry, if y'all see this video when his face is blurred out, it's because I was supposed to do a baby reveal. But yeah, y'all, this is my son. He is six months. I don't know what he's looking at. But yeah, y'all. So basically that wraps up this video. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all of my social media. Um, if y'all want me to do more baby videos with my son and put him in some videos and stuff. Or do like a bath routine or what I feed him and stuff like that. I will do that. <laughs> so yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my social media, with me on the screen, Twitch, watch down below, and that's the video. Bye, you guys.